compass is vital for outdoor navigation because it allows you to orientate your map. You can also use it to work out bearings to objects you can see on the ground. A bearing is the direction of travel to an object on the ground. It might be a place we want to go to or a landmark we can see. Bearings are measured in degrees, 360 in all measured clockwise from north. So 90 degrees is east, 180 south, 270 west and so on for all the bearings in between. Here the bearing from the crossroads to the church is 140 degrees. There are many kinds of compass, but the most useful for outdoor activities is one like this. It has a rotating compass dial on top of a transparent base plate. The compass dial houses the compass needle, which points to north whichever way the compass is turned. Around the edge of the dial are marked the bearings from zero up to 360 degrees. On this compass, every 20th degree is numbered. Marked on the bottom of the dial is a red arrow pointing to zero degrees, or the north point on the dial. The base plate has another arrow, used to indicate the direction of travel. If you twist the dial, you can set a bearing from the red north arrow on the dial to the direction of travel indicated by the base plate arrow. If we twist it to this position, the compass is set at a bearing of 140 degrees. Now, if we line up the compass needle with the marked red arrow in the dial, the arrow on the base plate is pointing on a bearing of 140 degrees. It points from the crossroads towards the church. Some compasses have measuring rules, known as Roma scales, to help to read grid references on 1 to 25,000 and 1 to 50,000 maps. You place the very edge of the compass on the location you want to record and then use the scales to read off the precise position within the kilometre square.